Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to make a text-to-binary translator in Python. So we're going to take input from the user, some text such as ABC or hello, and we're going to output the binary of their text. So it might be something like this, just ones and zeros, something like that. In this tutorial, we're going to use variables, functions, while loops, and for loops, as well as some operators such as mod and floor division. So we're just going to start off by defining our function text to binary and this function is going to take one parameter and that's going to be the string or the text that we're going to return the binary of. So let's just type that text. That's the one argument we're going to take. Now let's make the variable that's going to contain the binary that we're going to return which is called this total binary and we're just going to set this to empty and this is a string now we're going to make our main loop and this is going to be a for loop so we're going to see how many characters there are in the text and we're going to loop through every single one of them we're going to do for i in range len which is going to take the length of a parameter so the length of text for example we'll take that and we're just going to make a new variable called binary and this will be reset every single time we go through this loop so we're just going to at the start set this to empty and this is different from our total binary but because this is just going to take the binary for one letter and then it's just going to add that to total binary and be reset every single time and then we're going to make a new vari another variable called string ord. And if you watched my last video, you would know ord is the order function, which basically just turns the uh, letter or character into a number, the ASCII value. So we're going to take the ord. We're going to take the order of text, and we're going to actually slice this to get the part that we want. And we're going to use our i for this. So we're going to do i. And then for the first where it starts, we want it and we want it i plus 1. So this is going to take the order. So those are our main variables for now. And both of these will be reset every single time this for loop begins. Now we're going to make our while loop, which is actually going to convert the number or the order of the string into binary. We're just going to call this while string ord is greater than 0. And why does this have to be greater than zero? Because in order to convert this number, which for example, if the character was A, it would be 67. We're going to have to divide it and do some operations to it until, well, it's zero. So while it's greater than zero, do this. And if it's less than zero, then it's already converted to binary. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new variable, just call it X. And then we're going to set it to string ord. This is the fun this is the variable which stores the number value of uh, the character. And we're going and we're going to use the modulus function and mod2. What this does is it divides it and only gives the remainder. So for example, if you do 5 mod2, it would return 1 because 5 divided by 2 is 4 remainder 1. So we set x equal to that. And then we're going to take string ord and actually divide it by 2. And we're going to do this because binary is base 2. And every single time we want to go through this loop, we want it to keep dividing it until it's 0. So we're going to just set, oh, I have a misspelling here, string ord. And we're going to set it to string ord slash slash 2. Now you may know that this function slash, what it does is it divides it. So what is the difference between slash and slash slash? Well, slash slash just divides it without the remainder. So if we do five slash slash, which is actually called floor division, if we just do five floor division two, it's going to return two. It's just going to act like it's no remainder. Then we're going to set the binary equal to string x plus 
binary. String binary, sorry. Now, why do we why don't we just do binary plus equals string x? Because that will add it at the front. We want to add it at the beginning. Now in the for loop, now this is not in the while loop, this is in the for loop. We want to take our variable total binary and we're just going to add binary to it. We're just going to uh, plus equals binary. Now, outside of all of the loops, we're just going to print the total binary. Now let's try running this. Well, first we have to call it actually. Let's call the function text to binary. And we're just going to put in the argument ABC all caps and let's run it. You see here, it does give it correctly, but we want it to be a space between every single character. We can just easily do that by adding over here total binary plus equals binary and also plus equals just a space. Now if you run this, you'll see it's separated. And we can check this by just going to some online binary to text converter. We'll paste in this. We'll convert it. And it does give ABC. It also works with larger strings. Let's just type here, hello world. And we're just going to run it. We get this long binary. We're just going to try and convert it. And as you see, it works. So now, I challenge you to take this code and try and make it so instead of converting text to binary, it converts binary to text. The code is in the description and in the comments you can paste your code for my challenge or any questions you have about this or any future video suggestions.